Now this one here, this is chapter 5, section 1, problem 39. And uh, see there at the end, find the z-scores that correspond to the data elements and determine if the values are unusual. So they give us the mean and they give us a standard deviation and they give us the four scores. So there's our formula there. For finding the z-scores, we have the data element minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So the mean and standard deviation are given to us here. Okay. So you want to find the z-scores for the first data element is 2,000. So x is 2,000. What's the z-score going to be? We plug in. So we have the mean minus the data element minus the mean divided by the standard it gives me the z-score. Then I repeat it, repeat it again for the second data element, which is at 1380. Minus the mean divided by the standard deviation gives me the other DC score. Then I repeat it for the next data element. Now 2340 minus the mean divided by standard deviation gives me a z-score here. It's 2.56. I'm going to do my last one, 1430. Data element minus the mean divided by the standard deviation gives me my last z-score. So we have a chart here. You can see the actual score. See the z-score. And which one uh, is more than two deviations. That's how you can tell if it's unusual or not. Only one of them is. In this case, the unusual z-score is given there.